Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy DJ Soul Force at the field today with the Q393, and I'm really excited about this one, guys. To my surprise, I couldn't find any reviews on YouTube for this one, so maybe I'm the first guy to review it. Okay, remember the Q393 has a new revised transmitter. Uh, this transmitter has speed, it has height, it has a timer to time your flight, uh, it gives you the battery power of the quad and the battery power of the transmitter. Now this is done without GPS guys, they're calling this 2.4 gigahertz two-way communications between the quad and the transmitter. Now how that measures speed and height I have no idea but we're going to put that to the test right now up and down once to bind it and this is a two speed it has one key takeoff so I'm gonna press that and she's supposed to take up and do an automatic takeoff she's getting pushed around by this uh, seven mile power wind out here guys but she is holding her altitude let's go to the high speed She's getting tossed around by the wind. I haven't started recording yet, guys. I wanted to test that automatic takeoff. So now that she's there, that same button will do an automatic landing. Pretty cool, pretty cool. That worked fine. Let's go ahead and turn on the 5.8 gigahertz receiver. Uh, this is the Q393A model, so it came with the 5.8 gigahertz first person view system. They're claiming it's a 5 megapixel camera. This bottom right hand button, short press, take a picture. Just took a picture. I'm going to hold it up, guys, and take another picture. looks pretty on the screen and a long press on that button will start the recording and here's our count up timer let's go ahead and take it off We should be still in the high speed now. That wind is picking up out here, guys. It's supposed to be about eight mile per hour wind. And I'm feeling more like nine miles per hour. Not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, Lately, I've been getting spoiled on the with the brush motors or brushless motors, I should say. I'm gonna let the wind push it back to us, and just to be totally fair with this old girl. Okay, let's try a manual landing. Cool. She did a bounce, but after one bounce, she came down and landed. Now, for some reason or another, uh, I've lost my FPV. I want to calibrate the gyros. So that would be both sticks down to the right. LEDs are flashing. They stopped. And you can arm the motors uh, manually. That's both sticks down and out to arm the motors. First speed, second speed. My timer has paused at 112 seconds. Let's go ahead and start the motor. I believe the timer starts, yeah, once the bird gets up in the air. I 
have to tell you guys, uh, I'm feeling just a little bit of instability here with this wind. It's it's a seven to nine mile power wind, and she's getting pushed around. This is high speed. Definitely meant to be a camera bird. I still have yet to get my 5.8 gigahertz transmission back. All I got is a white screen here, guys. So we won't be doing no long distance tests on it. The uh, flight data screen is the little screen here at the bottom of the transmitter. Let's hope we're still recording. Uh, for some reason or another, my FPV signal went out when I stopped to do that calibration. There's a LED on the left side of the camera here, and uh, it doesn't seem to be on. She's pretty fun. Let's try a flip. Whoa, well, not there, though. <laughs> There's a flip, almost hit the building. Now, I don't think that's wind, guys. I'm either having some trim issues here or gyros. Let me go ahead and put it down again. And that looks pretty level. All of my trim buttons are in the middle. Both sticks down to the left to calibrate. I'm going to try both sticks down to the right and see if we get anything. The lights did blink again. Uh, I'm going to try turning off this receiver. I don't have any 5.8 gigahertz. Let me check to make sure my camera is plugged in. That looks nice and secure. Can't explain that one at this time guys, but uh, let's go ahead and fly that battery out. The timer stops and pauses every time you land, so I have 264 seconds of flight time. She's a big bird and she's fairly heavy. She shouldn't be getting pushed around by the wind like that. Okay, I have a little more stability now after that second calibration. Needless to say guys, the instruction manual for this one didn't cover a lot of things. So I have a feeling the both sticks down to the left was not to calibrate the gyros, but more like uh, calibrating the uh, the heading or the headless mode. I like the looks of this bird, though I really do. LEDs are nice and bright. Green in the front, red in the back. I hope we are getting video guys on this uh, 5 megapixel camera. If not, I'll have to do another flight early tomorrow morning, shoot some video and splice it in with this one. <laughs> so I still have three bars of battery left. It'd be nice if this transmitter would beep because all this talking I'm doing. She's slow on the brakes. I would uh, go on record now and, and say this bird was designed to be a smooth flying camera bird. She's big and wicked looking but she's not that fast. Okay, there's a sample of the altitude hold. That would be the wind pushing it, but she's holding the altitude very well. Let's do a flip, forward flip. <laughs> that was a slow flip. That was like slow motion. <laughs> but keep in mind, this is uh, brush motors and this is a toy choir, guys. Let's bring it in for a high speed run. <laughs> uh, 
Oh hell, I can see this one now, the Battle of the Big Slow Birds. This one in the SEMA X8. With the coupon code at GearBest, you can get this bird for a little over a hundred bucks. I think it still comes in cheaper than the SEMA X8. What I wouldn't do to put a third speed on this one, WL Toys, uh, the previous versions of the transmitters, gave us four speeds. I'm going to be a little disappointed if I don't get any video from this. That's what everybody's waiting to see the video. And, and all the questions are rolling in. How does this compare to the, the Q303? Actually, I was thinking a better comparison would be comparing this one to the Q333. WL Toys love the number three, I guess. But uh, the 333, remember, is the uh, inspired clone or the uninspired. <laughs> Even the uninspired had three speeds, right? Guys, I still have two bars left on my battery. Okay, there's the yaw rate and the slow speed. Go up to the high speed. And she picked up a little y'all. And the high speed y'all. Here comes the wind. <laughs> okay, it wasn't the y'all. I guess the wind gusts every now and then she will drop a foot or two. And she seems to recover very well. I'm liking it so far guys uh, what I'm liking is the feel of the new transmitter uh, well the WL toys transmitters always were a little step up above some of the other toy transmitters yeah not a very aggressive flight program in this one guys she, she don't stop and spin on a dime she can turn and spin on a quarter, but not a dime. <laughs> I believe I'm back. Okay, two beeps back in the high speed. You know me, I like to use y'all for brakes. This is against the wind and... Oh, have you guys checked out or, or seen the sister version of this bird, the white one? Uh, actually, it's the same bird. But WL Toys is calling that one the Q696. It's the same bird. It comes in white, but it has a two-axis gimbal on it that, uh, that resembles the Phantom 4 gimbal, except it's not a brushless motor gimbal. They're calling it a cordless, cordless cup gimbal. <laughs> Something beat. It's the battery indicator. <laughs> wow. Sweet. That could make the deal for us. The transmitter's beeping. We're at LVC, guys. Uh... I'm going to press that automatic land button. Where you going, Jeffro? <laughs> and there you have it, guys. The Q393, the transmitter does beep. And my countdown timer says 748. And those would be seconds, guys. So we'll have to do a little math on that. Awesome, awesome looking quad. Uh, not as aggressive as it looks it looks like an aggressive flyer but actually she's built to be a nice smooth flying camera bird guys but the feature that just popped up and uh, surprised the heck out of me was uh, the transmitter did beep to give us a low battery warning so that was pretty cool I like that without my first person view I, I didn't want to risk taking it out too far because I, I really wanted to test 
the distance uh, which is also displayed in the, in the screen shows you how far away from home you are and how that's measured I have no idea and any other hidden specs that come up guys I'll be sure and put that in the screen or in the description of the video there wasn't a lot of specifications included with the manual or on the box and uh, I noticed some of the stores are just starting to make up their own specs <laughs> as far as like the range and flight time so guys more to come on a Q393 from WL Toys this your boy DJ Soul Force Pow! I'm out of here Bye. <laughs>